Hello and welcome back to the next episode in our conventional start tutorial series. In this episode we'll be going over uh, how to industrialize our civilian economy, as well as colonization and overall uh, welfare of balancing um, your early game. This will not be going over jumping and all of that stuff as I see that's the start of the uh, end of the early game is getting into that jump drive and being able to explore the stars and going into the meat of the game. So the first thing we're going to do um, now that we're back is we're going to have a look at our industry tab. So I've already got a commercial shipyard complex in, that's because I want to get two so I can build a freighter and also a colony ship um, and that is going to be plan for that. Um, I'm also going to build a, um, I'm going to build a naval shipyard. Now the reason I'm going to build a naval shipyard is because I'm just going to make sure this is all divided up properly. The reason I'm going to do so is because I want to be able to build a defense monitor to provide protection. So basically how it works is every single planet requires a protection value, except for your home world, which does not require a protection value. Um, and it will show up around here, and if you're not providing enough protection, ship are the only things that provide protection, uh, then you will not be able to properly deal with it, and your stability will go down, which will cause your other things to go down, such as your production and your wealth. Now, ground forces will stop the riots, but you need ship in all of it. So a really good way to deal with it is to build a, a thing called a defense monitor, and that's what we're going to be building, building in a little bit. Um, in the meantime, our research is going ahead. We're going to use nuclear pulse for these craft, as well as hopefully trans-Newtonian cargo shuttles um, and high-density uranium armor. So we should now be good, and we're going to skip ahead on time. So, that, so the first target we're going to look at is we're going to be colonizing Luna, and then we're going to then I'm going to talk about colonizing other worlds and what you should be focusing on, what you shouldn't be, um, and also how to balance and deal with once civilians start coming into the picture. Okay, we're finished. High density uranium arm, very, very good. We're going to put the rest into nuclear pulse, um, and I'm also once we've got these shipyards done, I'm going to set up um, generally what we want to be increasing. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna build Trollmore laboratories with 40% of our industry. Great, and I'm gonna build 200 more construction factories with 30%. And I'm gonna put the other uh, the other percentage into infrastructure and mass drivers. So we're gonna we're gonna make 2,000 infrastructure 25%. Um, I'm going to make uh, the following uh, mass drivers for four mass drivers and build five because we're going to need those for mining. And I'm also going to put an order for auto mines in. Um, after that, we'll do 100 auto mines. And we will put in an order for some cargo shore stations. Uh, 50%. Great. Modify this. Okay. Now, this is what you want to be doing is you want to be planning out your infrastructure and what you're going to be needing so it's the most efficient. Otherwise, every time you come back, you're going to lose a bit of efficiency and uh, production. So, we're now going to skip forward time. Uh, we just had our mines finish, which should start mining a lot more resources for us. Now, once you get into Trans-Newtonian, you'll notice your resources are going to drastically uh, start depleting, as you can see here. So, you're going to be wanting as expanding to other worlds and having uh, mining colonies as well as getting out of the sources. We just had an interrupt. We just finished our construction factories. Uh, slipway was added to our shipyard, so that's very good. Um, and we should hopefully be done with the current production very, very soon. So, time the only thing about C is time goes by very, very, very quickly, so we can just 
can very easily do that. Um, another way to find good colonies, it, not just in the solar system, but also in, in the system in general, is go over here, go to all system view, and then you can go to, um, if you, if you, if you go over here, below max, above min pop, you can set it, so I do extend more present, exclude gas giant, so priority. So we can have a look at colony cost 2.0, um, and minimal presence, don't not that minimal presence. So as we can see here, Mars, Mercury, Luna, both good colonies. Now if we want to put 7 here, we can have a look at Titan, Ganymede, um, all of these places. Titan's going to be a good colony that we're going to be establishing, um, and so, so are a lot of others. We just finished nuclear pulse. Uh, we are going to design an engine now. I do believe we have enough uh, for that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to get first. We're gonna need to get uh, maximum engine size, so we can build a big enough engine to efficiently carry what we need to be carrying. Uh, I got another interrupt. Production has completed. So now our commercial shipyards as well as our research facilities should be coming in. And we just finished research against the construction rate. We're going to start research into better research rate. These techs are really, really important to get a look there. Okay. Commercial shipyard completed. I'm going to uh, retool the shipyard to go to continual capacity for 50,000. There we go. And I'm just going to continue skipping the time ahead. Now the research facilities, our research facilities are now getting increased. I'm going to put our maximum engine size. So the two things we're really wanting here is getting that engine design and also getting those uh, trans newtonian cargo shields. Um, because those trans newtonian cargo shields are going to basically double our unload ability onto other planets using cargo shield base, which is going to be really, really important if we're going to want to be colonizing the solar system um, in terms of, of time and, and speed. So we're going to put five in that, and then we're going to go over here, and we're going to uh, design our, our next engine. So we're going to make a size 40 engine, which will be two tons, which will be 2,000 tons. We are going to reduce the engine power to 50% to make it a commercial engine. And there we go. We have our nuclear pulse uh, commercial engine. I'm going to create that. I'm going to go over here and we're going to uh, research that component. There we go, that'll be done again. And I'm going to continue skipping ahead of time. Uh, and so, generally, just doing this is going to help a lot with everything. Okay, what did we finish, please? Naval shipyard construction. Okay, we're going to increase that one to 5,000 tons for our defense monitor. And this defense monitor will basically on its own be able to provide protection value for the solar system for a long time. Um, so we're going to go 5,000 for that. And just keep dipping. And this is a lot of war is, is a game of logistics and it's a game of waiting and making sure you're planning out what you need to be doing. Okay, we just got another research laboratory and we're going to add that to the disk. And boom. Just got that, and I'm also going to research. I'm going to go to our energy weapon. Look at matching. Oh, we don't have any energy weapons. Right. That's fine. We're not going to need an energy weapon scientist to be able to research this. So we're just going to go for carronades really, really quickly. Uh, and we are also going to. I'm going to remove one in that. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go to beam weapons. Now you don't need this for it to work, but I, I like to not cheese it too too much. Um and we're gonna yeah, not increase tracking, so you're gonna increase range to sixty thousand. Create and we're also going to design a power plant. Uh a size three power plant capable of uh we've got a little bit better tech, so I'm not used to we can design a size two then. There we go. 
We just want 10 power capability out of that, and we are going to go over here, matching scientist, and we are going to research that reactor. There we go. And so these are the things we're going to be wanting is the colony ships, the freighter, the defense monitor, and then we can pretty much colonize whatever planets we want. Um, and once we've got our civilian economy, we really don't need to be building either freighters or uh, colony ships too, too much. I mean, freighters are still always going to be important because you want to move your own stuff around. But for colonies, it's it's really not that important um, in comparison. So railgun just finished. I'm going to get my boy over here to continue researching that railgun for us. You can have it research anything. This is just to train it up. We may use railguns in the future. We probably will, actually. Um, but we won't be getting into combat in this series, so nothing to do. Okay, Trans-Newtonian cargo shore just finished, which now means we can go ahead and design a new vessel. Uh, we're going to turn this into a freighter, and we are going to add a standard cargo hold. Uh, we're going to add two shuttle bays, and we're going to add the engines. Uh, we're going to fill this up to there. Okay, 10,000 seems fair, cool, and then we're going to copy this design, and we're going to just rename this to the Providence, the random name, and we are going to turn this into a colony ship, so we just, we're going to designate it as colony ship, and we're going to replace the cargo hold with biogenic transport, there we go. A little bit too many biogenic. Okay, there we go. So we can have a hundred thousand people per colony ship. Okay, we got two of our ships designed. We are now going to go over here and we are going to first off get our freighters done. So we tool New York class freighter. We're gonna build two of those into our shipyard task group. Boom boom. And we have our infrastructure building here now, which is really, really nice. Okay. Uh, five inactive weeks. Oh, I forgot that was not bad on me. Uh, we are going to... Uh, now, the, now, the things you really want to be researching after we get all this now, we've pretty much got the tech that we need. But what, what you're going to be looking for at this point is going to be... Um, better engines better fuel efficiency and better sensor tech so we're going to we're going to go for uh improved pebble bed reactor and we're going to try and go for ion tech eventually here as that will allow much much faster ship but you can also go into logistics and construction and production which is very very important as well okay we just completed it into our carronade um, and we are now going to design a carronade really, 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 really quick. So, go over here, lots of carronades, create, I don't care what it does, I just want the fact that it's a weapon, and it's cheap, it has the least amount of research required. Uh, 20 plasma carronade, we don't have any people to do that, and that'll be done um, soon-ish. Pebble bed reactor completed, and now we want to get our plastic grenades. There we go. Okay, that should be a plasma carronade. Yep, got a plasma carronade. So now we just need our beam fire control in here, and sensors and fire controls. Yep. Grab this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now we can design our new ship. We're gonna call. We're gonna make it a uh, orbital defense monitor. There we go. ODM, and we're gonna give it a bunch of plasma carronades. Boom, boom, boom. And this should provide about eighty protection in total. Uh, beam fire control as well as a power plant to supply the power. Boom. And there we go, we have our orbital defense monitor. Now we're going to retool our shipyard. Uh, once it is done, so once that's done, we'll, we'll get that retool link. Uh, our freighters will be done in approximately, yeah, 
a few months, a few months time. Uh, I'm now going to increase this to get our research rate up. Um, and I'm just going to do that, but you can obviously train. I do advise going for training as well. Okay. Uh, what did we just finish? We reached target capacity, so we are now going to grab ourselves our colony ship over the we're just going to build now and so that will be done uh, in april of 184 so we're talking two years and for the new york that will be done on the 26th of july okay let's see a research lag it's got one i'm gonna go into logistic i'm gonna keep getting that trained up for us really really quick so, yeah. That is an important uh, research. Okay. And did we just get our freighters? Yes, we did. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to create a logistics command. I'm going to call this logistics command. And I'm going to attach this. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to. I'll we'll give it the normal name there. And I'm going to go over here to this and I'm going to assign a naval officer to naval element commands who's good at logistics. There we go. Logistics command. Nice low right. You can do it then. You'll be right there. Okay. Uh now we're gonna go to our New York and we are going to this is how, you, how this is how you load infrastructure basically and load components. So for every twenty five thousand cargo capacity, you can carry ten infrastructure or one infrastructure equal two thousand five hundred cargo capacity. So this can carry twenty infrastructure at a time. So we are going to unload onto Luna. We need to make it a colony first. You can do it here, and we are going to unload all in all installations that we load from Earth, and we're going to cycle those moves so it repeats until we run out of infrastructure. Um, and we're just going to keep doing that now. So they'll keep doing that over and over and over again. And as you see, we now have this infrastructure. So now we're just colonizing, as you can see. Okay. And did we just complete something? Okay, they just finished unloading all the infrastructure we did have. Unfortunately, we're not able to build as fast as they could load. So we're just going to remove that and we are going to I apologize if you hear anything in the background. There's some stuff happening in the background. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to be right back as I have, I'm going to close the door. Make sure you guys can't. Uh, I do apologize. I'm back now. Um, unfortunately, that did happen there, so I'll hopefully that will be edited out um, or, if possible, reduced. So yeah, we're gonna wait for our infrastructure to get up. Uh, we're currently using all our capacity right now, um, and we're trying to increase that capacity. Um, in the meantime, our colony ship will be done in approximately two, less than two years. So we're just going to skip for a time, 30 days. Okay. Uh, nothing. On the research facility. Okay, just going to increase research the... Um, we improved our pebble bed reactor and then we are going to go and try and grab our nuclear improved nuclear pulse engines and we're just going to keep skipping for a time uh, we got our infrastructure then so we're going to continue with the movement of infrastructure so grab our infrastructure unload installations we feel from colony and just continue cycling that. Okay, cool. 
and I'm able to load. So that means they've finished. And I'm going to remove all their orders. And we're going to uncycle them. And so 2000 should now be able to increase. So the main thing we're looking for Luna right now is we're going to turn into a financial center so we can get our civilian economy moving. So 200 infrastructure per million. So 10 million is um, 2000. 10 million is the generally starting point on where I stop sending civvies. And it also allows you to go over here and say, this is now stable. Do not continue sending people here. Um, so that's why we're going to, to 2000 now. Okay, Providence was completed. We need to detach. Put on logistics command. I'm going to go to Seoul. I'm going to load colonist. No, unload colonist. I'm going to refuel. And we're just going to cycle those moves for a little bit. Okay, we just got fuel storage large. There's now quite a few people on Luna. So this is so we're now colonizing this world, which is really, really nice. And uh, I'm also going to continue researching this. Production mass drive is completed. And I'm going to just reduce this to reduce this percentage to that. So we can just get that military academy started all the way back then. Uh, back up, and I'm going to reduce this to that. And you can keep kind of putting up what you need to be putting up. Um, we can lead our research into research speed, and then we're going to just keep going on that because that is going to be an important one just for overall uh, research speed. Because that is that that is that is one of the main uh, problems. So, yep. Now uh, we should be getting a civilian economy soon. So what I'm going to do is to make sure we do kickstart that civilian economy. I'm going to move financial centers. Uh, I'm going to move. Do I not have any fun? Oh, there we go. Unload financial center, refuel. Uh, and since we can move two at a time, I'm going to repeat this for eight. So that'll move 16 financial centers to the planet. Very good. They complete orders. So they now have workers there who are providing wealth and trading. So that is very, very nice. Um, we should hopefully see some civilians now pop up. Yep, there we go. So our civilians are now doing stuff. Um, and they're going to be loading and doing things. So we are just going to stop this. Um, and we're going to move this back because we want the civilians to now do things. So now once we have civilians, they will automatically deal with, with, with these kinds of problems for us so we don't have to. So they'll colonize worlds, they'll 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 send stuff to this probably want to send it stuff and we can once they have some freighters, which they should hopefully have, um they should be able to start sending infrastructure to places as well. They seem just going to be building more colonists. And so there we go. Now we have a freighter. So now that we have a freighter, we can basically just be like, okay, so Earth supply, let's say we had 2,000 infrastructure, Earth supplies 2,000 infrastructure. Once there's supply there, you can then go over here and be like, or to a new colony, and you can be like, we demand 2,000 infrastructure, and they will move that infrastructure for you. So Generally, you don't need colony ships as one, ever, when you have um, a civilian economy. Uh, and also, a big tip, if you're starting in a conventional star and you do this, you're going to have a lot of civilians. If you want to stop them from being insanely uh, massive, you can come over here, you can click shipping lines from being active, save it, and they won't build any more ships. Big tip for that. And also, you can turn this off if they get too much on your screen. Anyway, uh, this is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, it went a little longer than I expected, but we uh, advanced. Uh, we showed off uh, freighters and also um, uh, freighters and colony ships and also 
designing defense monitors so we would go over here and we would just build another defense monitor um so what what did i call it the los angeles so you you just go over here you just do this you go boom 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 los angeles boom. and this would allow the protection required to go up where it needs to be because past 10 million then they start really complaining about it and it goes down so yeah thank you for joining me um please come back next time this is going to be the next time for the next tutorial series as this will be the end of this conventional start series from this point in the game you can just advance time get your tech up establish more colonies around the solar system uh put mines on planets and then use uh mass drivers uh like this to send resources back and you can uh, eventually begin surveying these gravitational points and you can get out of the solar system i'll see you next time and uh please like and subscribe as i put a lot of offense to this and uh only a small amount of people do subscribe so every last subscriber does help uh get this channel promoted more to more and more people thank you